When global collaboration is working well, your students will be enthusiastic and reflective. You'll hear about how their expectations and preconceptions are shifting and how they're eager to learn more about unfamiliar people and places. Your collaborators will be sharing similar stories about the experience on their side, and you'll be problem solving together to create a smooth technical, social, and educational experience for all involved. And we recommend building flexibility into your collaborations to allow time to address emergent areas of interest for your students, such as specific customs or historical events that they find compelling. Think about fun topics to explore together, like favorite local foods, popular games and sports, favorite books, as well as music to check out. And these fun and easy to engage with topics highlight connections of interest and demonstrate how similar people are all over the world. Global collaboration gives students and their teachers new points of comparison for their own cultures and shared reference to consider when encountering new people and places. It's amazing how what's ordinary in your place can be incredible somewhere else. Follow your students' lead, pay attention to where they're curious, and facilitate collaborators sharing their perspectives. A global collaboration is a perfect platform for building interpersonal empathy through active listening. It can build students' understanding of powerful topics such as immigration and healthcare to foreign policy and climate action. Now, while some of those discussions can be challenging, taking them on with a diverse group widens the range of contributions and helps your students think through their potential biases. This can be a nice starting place for media literacy and maybe a natural place to weave in the International Society for Technology and Education Standards better known as ISTE. Have you seen these before? Check them out. The ISTE standards for students are designed to empower student voice and ensure that learning is a student-driven process. Number seven is tied to the goals of this course. ISTE also has an educator list to review. The standards for educators are meant to deepen your practice, promote collaboration with peers, challenge you to rethink traditional approaches, and prepare students to drive their own learning. Global collaboration augments and extends place-based education. It exposes students to the world beyond their hometown, allowing for connections to be made regarding what other people experience, how they think, and why. It can break through the media bubbles we build for ourselves, inspire self-reflection on political views, and provide visceral experiences of what people from different circumstances view as urgent, fair, and reasonable. It's easy to build our material models of the world and rely on them without updates, but global collaboration is uniquely suited to broadening our horizons and refining those mental models to include new ideas. Balancing content with connection is the key to success in global collaboration. Introducing students to new people is just as important as introducing them to new educational materials. Make sure that your global collaboration builds relationships among everyone who participates and scaffolds your pedagogical choices to support and reinforce the interpersonal community you've created. Global collaboration is all about the excitement of making new friends, exploring the world together, and becoming more aware of your own global citizenship. When global collaborators come together as people first, natural curiosity becomes the most powerful learning tool you could use.